Hello everyone, welcome to Week in Review. This week, we witnessed our chain champion in chief, advocate Nelson Chamisa, speak on Zimbabwe's readmission to the Commonwealth. He highlighted the need for international policy to be guided by a domestic policy that respects the rule of law, human rights, and above all, the well-being and dignity of the people of Zimbabwe. He was quick to point out that we want what's good for the country and good for Zimbabweans. We want what is good for the country, what is good for Zimbabwe. We support everything that stands for and respects the constitution, the citizens of Zimbabwe, and the people's life. As the next government, the incoming government, our firm view is that Zimbabwe must normalize relations with all progressive forces, nations, and global institutions, including the Commonwealth, in pursuit of mutual cooperation and national interest. So with this in mind, we reiterate that we will champion a foreign policy that's truly reflective of a positive domestic policy that puts the citizens first. We want Zimbabwe to begin its most impressive work at home, championing freedom in all of the citizens' daily struggles. Now, whether or not Zimbabwe joins the family of nations remains a meaningless dream if Zimbabweans themselves are not allowed to live in dignity. We must normalize relations with all progressive nations and global institutions, including the Commonwealth, because it's the right and best thing for each and every Zimbabwean. Simply put, our foreign policy will ask two simple questions. Is this good for the people of Zimbabwe and does it benefit our future generations and mutual partners? This week, we also joined the international community in bringing climate change issues to the forefront. As the Triple C, we will prioritize, fund and incentivize preservation and protection of Zimbabwe's environment. We will put forth a green policy that leverages smart technology, renewable energy, and sets forth a plan for climate change mitigation and adaptation. Speaking of energy, don't forget that the choices we make in the months ahead are very important. And so register to vote, and until next time, let's continue to inspire hope and a thirst for change.